Thanks. Welcome to the daily live stream. If you've been tuning into this before, we go and check out all the new homes on the market. Today, we're going to do Brooklyn. There's a lot of homes on the market. We're moving from January to February, springs around the corner. So yesterday, we just did Park Slope. I'm not going to do every house because this could go on forever, but we're going to go profile downtown Brooklyn, Red Hook, this kind of area right here for now. If we see something else we really like, we'll let you know. Whole building for sale. Van Brunt Street, great great location and this is an investment property multifamily, 11 bedrooms six bath let's go check it out beautiful brick building i'm trying to think where this is price per square foot 703 cap rate 7.4 that's attractive two commercial units six apartments i mean listen seven cap rate if it's a real cap rate that's that's nice that's that's fine that's what you're gonna get these days, especially in Brooklyn. Pretty house, four floors, 4,795,000. Pretty. Great rental property, exposed brick, large plank wood floors. People, you know, listen, Red Hook's a little bit harder to get to because of the subways, but a lot of people specifically want to get live in Red Hook, <coughs> sorry, because it's off the beaten path. Nice. Um, Nice restaurants, it's hip. You got the Wegmans Whole Food or whatever down there. You're close to the water, close to Park Slope. You can get on the highway super easy. It's great if you have a car. Sometimes you might get some flooding. Little mini split here. Looks like it's renovated. Looks like a renovated place. Oh, I like this design. See, come on, we're going, we just saw some, go if you want to see my New Jersey one. We're doing Georgia, New Jersey, New York every day. This is a great bathroom for rental. Look at this. Only seven pictures, so you get the gist. Great house. I like this. Look at this. This is fun. You're cool. You're modern. You're hip. You live in Brooklyn. It's Red Hook. Even hipper. Cool. All right. That was a quick one. Like that. So, investment property. This is another one. Another investment property. 232 Bergen. 4.5 million. Multifamily. Four point, sorry. Four bedroom. Three bath. Open house on Saturday if you want to go check it out. Let's check the street view. Oh, no pictures just yet. Great location. Bergen Street. This is a great little brownstone. I'm sure this is super high end if that's what the pricing is. 3,200 square feet, 20 foot wide. So it's wide. This is a wide townhouse. Two duplexes, so large apartments. It's not three little small ones or like a, I don't really like these, but some people do triplexes with a, a rental apartment. This is two large duplexes, Heart of Borum Hill, Tree Line Street. Very cool. All right, no pictures, so that's not that fun. Let's go to Brooklyn Heights over here. Pineapple Street, the Fruit Streets, great area of Brooklyn, 1.895, just shy of two million. Three bedroom, two bath, cooperative. 60 Pineapple, I've been in here a few times. It's a nice building, prime location. Open houses by appointment, so do not just show up. How dare you? Really a variable J line only exists on five floors. Open loft like feel. All right, let's just jump into the pictures because that's what y'all want to see. Uh, beautiful, nice open concept, sleek, modern, nice furniture. Nice. This is pretty expensive dining room table. A word sign in Brooklyn. No, no word signs in Brooklyn. Great open common room. I like this. Nice. Nice kitchen. This is a little bit too much for me with the patterns, but obviously they like the patterns. Nice light, nice light fixture, open concept, nice breakfast bar, island area. You know, you're not jammed in here with the, the kitchen. It's probably not vented. Nice kitchen. Bedroom. You got built-in closets here. That's a must. It's a must. Nice hardwood floors. Second room. I painted a little bit. It's like the one picture is like an oyster. Like, is this staged or does someone live here? This might be staged. Nah, someone lives here. Nice little kiddo room, it looks like. A little window unit, extra wide window. I like this bathroom. A lot of patterns, too many patterns going on here. Usually these things go that way. Fine bathroom. I like it. Nice, big. This one, not a fan of. 
We got two bathrooms. Nice layout. So we're southern facing corner. Awesome. No, this is more than a corner. Look at this. Oh, this is great. Look at this exposure. So that's really what. Cool. I get it now. I get it. This is a great layout. Look at this layout. Three bedroom, walk-in closet, three exposures. That's rare. Very rare. Cool. That's great. Go for it. Nice one. Let's go here. Six million dollars on Henry Street. Chat GBT, chat GBT. Can you get lazy? Oh my god. Dear prospective buyer. They did they even look at this? I'm not even gonna read it because it's annoying me. The laziness annoys me. There's no bedroom count, one bath. So investment property on Henry Street. Residential, mix of commercial. This is just lazy. Listen, if you're going to hire a real estate agent to sell your $6 million building, make sure you have some pictures and then you just throw it into chat GPT and like didn't even give a description of the house. That's really annoying. This is why people hate real estate agents. Like you're freaking lazy. Hoyt Street, downtown, central downtown. This is right next, I believe, to the Ace Hotel right down there, 11 Hoyt Street, three bedroom, three bath, condo, 1,500, 1,600 square feet. This is a new construction building. It just went up last year, maybe two years ago. Oof, there is something to be said. Like, I don't really want to live in downtown Brooklyn, but being up on a high floor with these views, like, look at this. This is crazy. Verrazano. Oof, it's a pretty looking house. 2.45 million. Oh, yeah, this is not, I mean, there's, I mean, I'm not a high rise guy, but this is cool. I like this. This is just sleek, modern, elegant, nice kitchen, nice colors. Just like one, you know, one piece on the background, or maybe it's like one or two. This is a great house. This is a cool, this is cool. I was in this building when it was like under construction, not when it's been finished, but this is, look at these views. I mean, you can't beat them. Awesome. Great house. And it's 2.4 million, but. All right, let's do one more. Let's see what else we have over here. I always like Greenpoint. Five bedroom, three bath. This is a Williamsburg multi -fam Oh, it's a single family residence. This is a big house. 2750 square feet, five bedroom, three bath, just under 1.8 million. Good location. Single family residence, eh? Listen, this is this is a fine price for this house. No no central AC, but they opened it all up. Probably was used to be a multi-unit, now it's a single family. Hardwood floors. Decorative fireplace, arches. Clean it up. Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy. Terrible tiles. Pink. When did why was pink a thing? I don't get it. All right, just try a little harder. Need some work. Probably some water damage over there. So, you know, this one, check the inspection report, but it's 1.8. It's how much you like compare it to the condos that you get. Obviously, it's new. Henry Street. This is McGorlick Park, Greenpoint. 235 Henry Street, two bedroom, two bath, 973 square feet, penthouse with a private roof, brand new condominium. More word signs, but it's on a pillow, so it's a word pillow. Great little house, great little apartment, small. Stop it. Classy people don't have word signs. But I like this kitchen. Sleek, just look, no handle. I don't no handlebars here. No, no, no cabinet handles. Nice and open, recessed light. This is great. For, this is cool. This is funky. This and again, this is another like neighborhood. Oh, look at this from famous comics. This is another thing where it's like, yes, you're over on that side of Greenpoint, 
But people, let, some people like being on that side of Greenpoint because you want to be out of the hustle and bustle. Williamsburg, Greenpoint's turned into a, like a big tourist area now. Private roof deck. Look at this. Oh, man. This is great. Next to a park. It's cool. Cool one. Got a little views of the city. Woo-wee. That's pretty. 1-4. I don't think I've been in this building before. 1-4. Not bad. Nice little layout. You know, it's not huge, but you get the roof terrace. Anything else fun in Greenpoint right now? That's it. All right, we're going to stop there. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me at Marcus Amadeus, MarcusShot.com. We're going to be doing this every day to keep you on top of the, keep myself on top of the new listings, but also keep you on top of the listings. DM me if you're interested in, you know, in your home search process, interested in any of these houses or just in general, if you have any questions. Instagram at Marcus Amadeus. I will talk to you later.